Hey everybody, welcome to another edition to Adore It or Ignore It. I'm your hostess, Donna Morgana, and we are here with you with a some summer stuff that's going on. We had a great time. Uh, summer's in full bloom. Uh, everybody's doing activities, water, s dirt, sports, out there, vacations, you name it. Everybody is out there. So, of course, to help me with this is real life mom, Jessica Crump. So, hey, Jessica. Good morning. How's it going today? It's going good. Your kids are enjoying their summer? They are so enjoying their summer. They have made a mud pit the uh, day before yesterday. Um, they've been outside. We're still doing, uh, fall, you know, baseball still full swing for us. So we're doing a little bit of that. But the heat, it is so warm. We're getting weather advisories every single day. Yeah. So we are taking those days um, when it's the hottest and we are going and seeing movies when we can. Sure. So that's kind of what we're doing to try to keep them busy this summer um, and keep them out of that heat. Absolutely. I mean, there's still a little, you know, you got to still kind of go with that. But I'll tell you what, though, there's a lot of activities going on. Um, and there's so much to take your attention away from being outside. There's a lot to do. So one of them is you went and saw Lightyear. So, did. and that's been a character around for probably before your kids are born, right? Yes. Oh, for sure. Like that's been around since I was a kid. Um, it's hit i mean everyone knows who buzz lawyer is so yes. um with that but with that being said um it, it kind of shocked me that he was going to be like the main character of this of his own movie so of course when i saw it i was like oh we have to go see this um so we did we took a hot day and we went and saw it um and the buzz is <laughs> that it was not as great as i thought it would be just Point blank, I did not think it was as entertaining as um, it could be. The storyline was just a little boring. Um, it was just basically he would go off to space. He would fail his mission. He'd come back. He would lose five years of time. And basically, this just went on through the whole movie. It was just a repetitive of he would go to space and fail. He would come back. Um, and then when he finally went to space and he, you know, successfully went through his mission, he came back and there was already so much time that had passed that everyone he knew was gone. So um, they had to defeat Zerg. They brought Zerg in. So they had to defeat Zerg. Do you know who Zerg is? Um it blew my mind who he actually, I knew he was the the villain, but it's actually Buzz. So uh, that kind of shocked me. But by the time it got to that part, I was already so bored that I was just like, okay, it's Buzz. Bored, huh? Uh, it was, I was bored. And honestly, my three-year-old was bored. So I was like trying to entertain him while entertaining him. Like I brought him to a movie to entertain him and he was like, I want to go home. And I was like, okay, oh this was my. a fail. This was a mom fail. So it just, honestly, I wouldn't, I would just wait for it to stream on Disney plus if you're curious about it, but it's not one of those things where I'm like, I would go do again. Did you notice that other people in the audience were also kind of restless? They were, and there was a lot of snacking and a lot of candy and just a lot of getting up and down. Like it just wasn't as enjoyable as a typical movie would be. Yeah, so like say something like Paw Patrol. Oh, Paw Patrol. Yeah, so it, to me, that was really entertaining, even for me. It was so cute. That yeah. I loved that movie, and it had a lot of adult puns, uh, not yeah, inappropriate did. ones, but mm -hmm. things about TikTok or Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this is funny. I get that. Like, yeah. so I thought Paw Patrol is an excellent movie. Yeah, um, I thought it was too. When you put animals in there, it, it just always captures attention. Yeah. Now, Buzz, um, it was Pixar. It was. It was so it was super graphic. And so I think they really plan on if you have a kind of a weaker script line, then they really plan on that visual. I can see that. And the visual was great. I mean, that was really good. Um, so I can see how that would make sense. Yeah. So okay, so we are not adoring it. We are I ignore it. I would ignore it. You would ignore it because it's just too many uh, social issues in there, a couple things in there. That are, there are yeah. a few things that are questionable for sure. Okay. for yep. Just for the entertainment of children, basically. Yes. Okay. And would, if somebody was young enough, would they have to see Toy Story and all that to get Buzz or would you just have to go see Buzz? 
Well, Carter's three, and he knew what Lightyear, he knew who Buzz was, but he has seen, you know, he's been introduced to Toy Story, but it doesn't, so basically this movie is Andy, the main character, the reason why he wanted a Buzz Lightyear is because he watched this movie Lightyear. So wow. basically, essentially, it's bringing it all in as to why Andy wanted this toy. So the movie we watched is basically the movie that Andy watched that got him to want the Buzz Lightyear. So, no, you don't have to watch Toy Story to understand what's going on in Lightyear. Because it's a great character. It's fun. He's a great he character. Great character. So um, the new storyline and all that's probably, I'm not saying why, but it's probably why Tim Allen didn't do the you know, it's possible. It's very yeah, possible. So there. So anyway, other than that, that's it's still. I, you think they watered that down enough where they can't use Buzz anymore unless he's a like a co-host or something? No, I think I don't think that they'll ever do another movie like his own movie again. I don't see how he would have a story. He doesn't have a family. He spent the majority of his life in space trying to complete these missions. He mm -hmm. doesn't really have a storyline other than a robotic cat. So there's just not anything there. Okay, and the only thing I can think of after this is that Woody and all of them are all in the old folks' home, and everybody gets together for a reunion. That's basically okay. That could be fun. I can <laughs> see that being fun. You should pitch that. I think it would actually be really funny. I go watch that. You know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, where are they now? Like, where? How do they? Buzz doesn't. Have, you know, didn't end up with a family because he was always in space, and oh, you know, right. uh, Woody and Bo Peep have to end up yeah. together. So I think it would be. Could yeah, be really meet at the uh, rest home of toys or something like that. Yeah, like, I think honestly, home. I would watch it. Uh, okay, and then you're going to go see Jurassic. That's your we are going to go see Jurassic Park. That was actually Cooper's quote when we got out of Buzz out of Lightyear. He said, "I wish we would have went and saw Jurassic Jurassic Park." Park. Okay, because that like, is okay. that's so much fun. Because I have I love the Jurassic Park. I think he told me he said, "Mommy, that movie is a classic." And I was like, Ooh, okay, so definitely that is on our bucket list to do next will be a Jurassic Park. And then bringing in all the old characters and it might be the last one because that's usually what they do. Laura Dern and I think even uh, Jeff Goldblum, I think, is in this movie. Uh, yeah, I think it'll be great. It is a classic. So yeah. we're, we're excited about that one. And they're, you know, they're when you bring those guys in, that usually means that's the final chapter. Yeah, final two. and we need that like we need that yeah. closure so yeah you need that closure because it's great the series is great you know star wars how long can you go with the star wars thing? i know for I mean, sure really you know so anyway um other than that you know i love all star wars but something new okay then you have a book this week and i know you had one that i asked you to do that's not published so do you have another one that's um i don't i just read that one but we, we that. can talk about it if you want to um i thought it's a really cute book yeah um, and they can be on the lookout for it it's in is it in publication yet no it's not so oh, okay not. but it's a great storyline it's kind of like where the wild things are mm -hmm. and it's just kind of a bounce off uh see how the kids liked it before they proceeded so basically it's what it was and i really can't mention it but the, i do have a book that's coming up it's called the square tree so i'm waiting for the book to come to my hand right now so we'll wait and see how that turns out and i'm looking forward to it and we've already got uh, a movie deal with it. So that's why it's kind of exciting for me. So um, other than that, like my first book, The Free Fortune, has Free already Fortune. been made into a movie. And we got, we got the trailer and it's so good. And I love the trailer. It's great. So everybody's seen it, has loved it. And they've already talked about a sequel. The people. That oh, my goodness. Well, I'm excited yeah. to see that one. So. It's going to be. They're already talking and say, please, please work on a sequel right now so we can get that going. They already like it. So, awesome. um, and here's another thing. Uh, movies are such a part of our lives and they're relaxation and they should be. You know, they're so should be on, on movies. Yes. When you do that. So, and it's fun to see something come to life, a character come to life. And there's, and don't you hate it when somebody makes a movie of a book and they change it so much it's not even like the book? I know. I know. I agree. They did that with the Twilight series. <laughs> Oh, that was the Twilight. thing my day yes. was the Twilight books. So that, you know, the movies touched on some of it, but I was like, that didn't go down that way in the book. But okay, we're just going to ignore that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Exactly. So other than that, we are kind of, we'll, we'll reconvene uh, okay. next time. And we're going to take a couple of weeks vacation. You and I have a couple things going on that we can't get together, but we'll have our final 
a door or ignore it and we may pick it up later on after summer we'll see how that works out and uh get that going but we've really enjoyed this because it's fun it is fun but oh. movies are fun books are great too so this is books. a great you got to have it. Actually, the written sure. word is always, is always will be there. It is never, anything's ever replaced it. So on that. So anyway, that's our edition of Adore It or Ignore It. So we have on Lightyear. Well, like, yeah, that's a great. And it, that takes a lot of money to put a, to put a movie together and it goes like this, you know? I know. So, uh, and then we will have another Jurassic Park review and I'm sure it's going to be, I have already can see the trailer it looks Favorites. Oh, I got to tell you one more thing. A trailer. You know why they call it a trailer? No. A trailer back in the old days when the studios owned their own theaters, like Lowe's theaters and all that. Uh -huh. um, they call it a trailer because after the original movie that they went to go see, the patrons went to go see, they would have like upcoming movies coming. They So after the movie, they would call it a trailer because it followed the movie. So oh. then they got an idea that everybody just got up after their feature and left. So they figured, oh, we can't do that. Even though it's but, called a trailer, we're going to put it before the feature. So they'll sit down and watch it. Uh -huh. and that's why it's still called a trailer. And I it's love it. A movie. So it's really a pre-trailer. So it's, it's a pre-trailer now, but I love that. <laughs> I would have never known that, honestly. Isn't that interesting? It's been going on since the 30s. So wow. that's how long that's been going on in the system. And everybody just knows it's a trailer. So isn't it? Or preview. Awesome. I always called it a preview. So yes. <laughs> preview, pre-trailer, whatever. Fun so. fact. I know, fun fact. That's fun right. Fun fact. I love it. Anyway, see y'all next time. This is Adore to Ignore It. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.